All right, if you're out and about and you're looking to buy a property, you might have seen a, quite a few jargon terms knocking around uh, period property, period conversion, and purpose built. So, what do we actually mean when we're saying a property is purpose built? I'll explain it after this short intro. I'm Tim Hill, internet entrepreneur, property investor, and author of How to Really Buy a Property. No. It's not one of those books that goes on and on about how you can make millions investing in property and all you have to do is go on my course to learn the secrets and then you go on my course and you find out that you have to go on my master course to learn the real secrets. None of that. If you have decided to buy a property, no matter what your motivation, then how to really buy a property is the smart way to do it. And it will save you time, money and stress. OK, now it might sound a bit weird. But we say purpose built is when a property was built for that purpose. So when before the property is even built, the building even goes up, the architect says, I'm going to build a block of flats. So he draws out the architecture plans for a block of flats, gives it over to the builders. They go and build a block of flats. The building has been built for the purpose of being a block of flats. Fine. Uh, when does that not happen? Well, in what we call conversions. This is when, say, you've got a house, perhaps a house that was, say, 100 years old, uh, and it's been divided into flats. It was never designed to be flats. The architect that made it or the builders that made it never envisaged it as flats. They envisaged, envisaged it as a house. Uh, so it's no longer purpose built. It's what we call a period conversion if it's in an old property. Now, you can get this happen in all sorts of ways as well. For example, uh, very often people are now converting old factories into apartments. Again, that's not purpose built because the building was built to be a factory. So it's now some kind of factory conversion or what they sometimes call loft conversion got nice big windows and all that, or a church conversion. It's not what the building was built for. So why, why point it out? Well, uh, uh, well, I should first point out that it doesn't have to mean it's new. Right back in the 1800s, uh, Victorian architects and builders were building blocks of flats. They often call them mansion blocks. Okay, so purpose built is nothing new, and when someone says purpose built, that doesn't mean oh, it's quite a modern building. Uh, a Victorian mansion flat from 150 years ago can be purpose built. Okay, so why is this kind of like attractive to some people? Well, obviously, when you're building something like a block of flats to be a block of flats, that's when you're making sure you should be making sure. That, you know, the walls are thick enough, the floors are thick enough for sound insulation. Uh, it's uh, the plumbing is more designed to be for flats, the electrics more designed to be for flats. Uh, everything theoretically should work a little bit better. But when you're taking a house and you're splitting it up into flats, or you're taking an old factory and you're making it into flats, um, Obviously, it was never designed for that, and you can get some quirky things then that happen. You can find that perhaps the noise insulation between the neighbour downstairs and you isn't quite that good because all that's between two of you is a 100-year-old floor that was never designed to insulate two different dwellings. So uh, this idea that you're buying something that was built to be what it was built to be for, some people and find very attractive. Uh, others, they don't see it quite that way. They quite like perhaps the character of the period conversion. Uh, and this is why state agents will point it out. This is a purpose built property, but it's just really to sort out the different buyers. It's not to say that means it's better than the period conversion, because there are people who specifically want to go after a period conversion for all the character it might have. Uh, versus purpose built, which because they're generally newer, but not always, they're generally newer, might lack that character. 
uh, yeah, as I say, the exceptional Victorian mansion blocks with apartments where you still get things like nice bay windows, you might still get fireplaces, you might even get wooden flooring as well. So purpose built, not necessarily a good thing, unless that's what you're after for the reasons that I've pointed out. Okay, that's it. That's all for this short video. There's much more information in the book, how to really buy a property. As always, if you found this information useful, please remember to subscribe, to share, to like, to do all those social media things. It all helps other people who need this information find it more easily. If you've got some specific questions which you'd like me to have a go at answering, please put them in the comments below and I'll try and get to them. And in the meantime, good luck with your property purchase.